Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime versus iPhone 5S coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys? Nick here from Everything Tech helping to master your technology and welcome to the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime versus iPhone 5S comparison speed test video. Now the reason I'm making this video is because for some reason their iPhone is still available for sale. The iPhone 5S, it has been discontinued by Apple, but as I walk into Best Buy and stores, it's still on prepaid carriers and it's going for around 200 bucks. Now for just about 25 to $50 more, and maybe even around the same price point if you buy one used, the J7 Prime can be had in your hands. And I think it offers a little bit more value here than the iPhone 5S. Now both have metal bodies, so in terms of aluminum, there is a little bit of plastic inserts up here for antenna reception, whereas you have glass inserts up here. So on the iPhone 5S, this middle back part feels about the same on both devices, so nice metal feel on the J7 Prime. and the edges around the iPhone 5S feel sharper, maybe a little bit higher quality than the J7 Prime, but I prefer the smoother feel of the J7 Prime's edges here. They don't feel quite as high quality as the 5S, but they are smoother, so they don't they don't stab your hands too much here. So let's go ahead and boot these guys up at the same time in three, two, one. And you can see the Apple logo does show first. Now the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime. Now both devices are gonna give you fingerprint sensors. So the iPhone 5S gives you first generation touch ID, whereas the J7 Prime just gives you Samsung's touch print recognition. Now the iPhone 5S's Touch ID is a little bit more reliable than Samsung's here on the left. And who's gonna win this boot up test? It looks like Samsung's gonna take it there. So the J7 Prime is well ahead here of the iPhone 5S. And a lot of people say, well, that's a newer device. Why are you making this comparison? Like I say, because people are still buying the 5S for around 200 bucks. And I can show you here what can be had for the same price point. And I think that honestly, the J7 Prime is more competitive with something like an iPhone 6S Plus Plus, or maybe just the 6 Plus, um, you don't get the Apple Pay or the Samsung Pay here. So you could say maybe the 6, the iPhone 6 maybe, but let me know what kind of comparisons you wanna see down below. Let me go ahead and close everything out here on all devices, and I'm gonna go ahead and clear the cache before we begin this test. So let's go ahead and clear it here on the iPhone 5S, and let's go into the J7 Prime. Let's go ahead and clear it here. So let's go into storage, so it's cleared on the 5S, and let's go ahead and clear it here on the J7 Prime. Details, let's go into internal storage, cache data, let's clear it there. So that should be cleared in a second there. And I'll just give that one second. And let me close that part out now. Let's close everything out here. And let's begin the speed test. So let's go into calendar and let's go. You can see the J7 Prime ahead there. Let's come home here. Let's go into calculator on both devices. Look like the iPhone 5S there. Let's come home. About the same going home. Let's go into camera. And it looks like the J7 Prime took that one. Let's go home. And if I miss these, let me know down below in the comment section. Let's go into clock. And you can see it looks like the J7 Prime. Let's go into YouTube. And... J7 Prime takes it to YouTube. What about actually loading up a video though? Now the J7 Prime doesn't give you the, let's just load this. The J7 Prime doesn't What's give you. What's God? What's God? So it looks like the J7 Prime won that one. It doesn't give you A, B, G, and A, C. It only gives you A, B, G, N. So you don't get A, C here for the J7 Prime and you don't get it there on the 5S either. Let's go ahead and close, not close things out. Let's go into settings and you could see about the same there. I would say the 5S. Let's go into Twitter. J7 Prime wins that one. And the 5S, very slow to Twitter. Let's come home here. Let's go into internet on both. And let's just go to apple.com. They just dropped the red iPhone 7, so it's kind of relevant. Let's go ahead and go to apple.com here. Let's go to apple.com and let's hit go. Now you would think their website would load first on the 5S. That looked about the same, honestly. Let's go into a sub menu. Let's go into this is iPhone 7. And you've seen the J7 Prime? No, it looks like the 5S pulled that one up first. Well, I would expect that it is Apple's website. Let's go to Samsung.com. Let's go to Samsung.com there. Let's go to Samsung. 
But I do think Safari is one of the best browsers on any mobile device. Let's go into Go. And you can see we're still waiting on the 5S. So the J7 Prime does win to its Samsung site. I would say the iPhone 5S won to the Apple site. So it's <laughs> kind of funny there. Let's check out the new Tab S3 here, Shop Now. And you should see Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime. Little chop there for the iPhone 5S, now a little chop there for the J7 Prime. So I would say both are pretty similar in terms of the web browsing. I think slightly better in terms of speed for the J7 Prime, but of course iOS retains its buttery smoothness. So let's go into eBay on both and Android takes it here. The J7 Prime takes it there to eBay, kind of shocking. Let's go into Amazon. And let's see if the J7 Prime can take it. It does, it takes it there too. So the J7 Prime is showing with its octa-core Exynos chipset, it is a better, a uh, speedier phone. So you've seen right there about the same on the voice recorder, let's do that again. And let's come home here. Let's go into, we already did Twitter. I got two Twitters on there. Let's go into App Store. And the Play Store wins that one. This is nice stuff, J7. Let's go into Instagram. And for all the use out there who are gonna say the iPhone 5S is the better phone, it's clearly not the faster phone here. Let's go into Temple Run. And you can see the 5S a little bit better there on gaming. So maybe the 5S does have a leg up in gaming. Let's go into Safari. Did I say Safari? Subway Surfers. So can the 5S win this one? Cause the 5S does do really well in gaming, even though it's kind of old. Let's see what happens here. No, it looks like the J7 Prime's catching up. Who's gonna take it there first? Okay, okay. I see you, 5S. Now the J7 Prime. So if you guys wanna see a more extensive gaming test between the two, let me know down below. Maybe we'll do a, a J7 Prime versus iPhone 5S gaming. This is just a standard speed test. Let's go into the phone dialer on both. And you can see that looked like the J7 Prime. Let's go into Appy Geek on both. And you can see J7 Prime, now the iPhone 5S. Let's come home here. Let's go into Spotify. Looks to have load there first on the J7 Prime. Let's come home here. Let's go into CPU-Z and Lyrium Info. And this is not really a test because these are different apps, but I just want to talk about the specifications. These are specification apps. So on the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime, you do get the Exynos 7870 octa-core CPU that's clocked in at 1.59 gigahertz. And if we go to device, you can see three gigs of RAM here, only one gig of RAM here on the 5S. And that's why I say this is more competitive with the newer Apple products, honestly, even though it's a budget device. This is a really great bang for buck here in terms of this J7 Prime. I mean, we got a 1080p HD 5.5 inch display with 401 pixels per inch and three gigs of RAM. That's almost identical to what you get on the iPhone 7 Plus. You get a 1080p display and three gigs of RAM. And you get a quad-core processor on the 7 Plus. You get an octa-core. Granted, this octa-core processor is not faster than the 7 Pluses, but still, quite a bit of value here. With the Apple iPhone 5S, you get the A7 chipset. So, one gig of RAM. So, it's not too it's not too powerful here on the 5S. It's just pretty well optimized. That's why it still works pretty well. So, let's come home here. And let's run through them once again to see how I do a multitasking. So calendar, iPhone 5S holds it. Calculator, iPhone 5S. Camera, J7 Prime. Clock, about the same. YouTube, iPhone 5S holds YouTube better. So this is gonna be iOS versus TouchWiz basically. Settings, iPhone 5S, nope, that's Twitter and that's weather. Let's do Twitter here iPhone 5S, so here is where Samsung J7 Prime is starting to struggle. In the multitasking department, looks like the 5S again, wow. Okay, so the J7 Prime is a quicker phone to open apps first, but it looks like the iPhone 5S has just came back and opened up a can of you know what on the J7 Prime. Let's go into voice recorder. You could see, bang, let's go into App Store Play Store. About the same there, so it held one app. Let's go into Instagram. Again with the 5S. Wow, the 5S is running circles around the J7 Prime here. Ready to go, reload, oh my god. Let's go into Subway Surfers. This is sad, J7. J7 Prime literally had to reload pretty much every single app. Let's go into phone, bought the same there. Let's go into Appy Geek. So any third party app, the iPhone 5S has just had everything open. Spotify, nothing on the J7 Prime there. CPU-Z, again. So you know what? 
this one I'm gonna have to call a draw in terms of speed because you're gonna get better multitasking here and you're gonna get faster app openings here on the J7 Prime. But that's not the only thing that decides into the factor of buying a phone. So which one would I choose at the end of the day? Now, speed is not the only thing that's a factor in deciding these devices. I mean, you do get a 3200 milliamp hour battery on the J7 Prime, which does offer significantly better battery life than the iPhone 5S. You get a better 13 megapixel camera here with crisper images and an f1.9 aperture, whereas you get a eight megapixel camera here that does shoot in at f2.2. Now you do get 1080p recording here. You also get 1080p recording here, both in 30 frames a second here. Slow motion does come for the iPhone 5S, but you also get slow motion here on the Samsung if you go ahead and download a third party app. So that's not really a win in my opinion for the iPhone 5S. Now you do get a front facing flash here for the J7 Prime, whereas you don't get a front facing flash here for the iPhone 5S. So really it's not just speed that matters here. I mean, if it was me, which phone would I choose? Honestly, hand down, I'm going with the J7 Prime. I just think it offers much more value at the same price. It's a much newer phone, and you could say this is not too fair of a comparison, but at the same time, when you're still gonna buy an iPhone 5S at the same price point, I mean, I think some people might be asking themselves this question. And if it was me, like I say, I'd go with the J7 Prime. One reason too is that the iPhone 5S just feels old. Like psychologically, it might not feel old in the premium department like when you hold it, but I know in my mind that this phone is old. Now with the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime, it's the latest one that's out from Samsung right now. So it doesn't feel old at all. It's gonna last pretty long into the future with its Exynos chipset and three gigs of RAM. I mean, Samsung devices last long. It's just that they're, you know, their marketing is not at the same level and their updates aren't at the same level as Apple. So Apple's updates for the 5S might be dropping soon as well. So that's another reason why I think the J7 Prime is a better choice. But this is just my opinion. I'm not telling you guys that, oh, this is a better phone than this phone. All I'm saying is my decision. If I was choosing one, I would choose the J7 Prime. It's totally subjective which phone you think is better. And that's what's cool is we have choices these days. Which one would you choose? I'd like to know down below in the comments section. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, click the like button for me. Nick here helping to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next one. And peace.